followed and supported to the fullest. My fellow Biafrans and even non-Biafrans, please, I am urging everybody to come in support of the Eastern Security Network. You see, security for one person, the security for one person is security for all. If our place is secured, other environs near our place will also be secured. So what affects one person affects the other. So that is why we are saying that these governors that, you know, intimidate people this time around is not going to work for them. I've not, I've, I've not heard of any of them that has come out to make a, to make a public a statement openly against the ESN. But I am just warning them beforehand that they shouldn't even dream it in their widest dream. They shouldn't even think of it. They shouldn't even think of telling us to forget about ESN because ESN has come to stay. That is our life. I will donate anything. I will put in anything I have for this ESN. Because there is no need living without security. That is not life. I want a place whereby even if you drop a bag of money on the street, maybe suddenly or whatever, mistakenly, you forgot your, your money or your bag that is, 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 that is filled with money. You can come back there and collect it again. It happens here in Europe. If you forget your bag here, if you, if you mistakenly or whatever, you forget your bag, somebody will carry that bag and go and drop it with the police. The police people will never, never touch that bag in your absence. They will keep it for you. Until they get you, they must trace and get the owner. When the owner comes, they will hand it over to him. They will say, this is your bag. You can cross-check it. And sincerely speaking, you see that your bag is intact. It's a wonderful thing. That is how life should be. These criminal activities in our lives should stop. Because it's not fetching us anything. We are not making any progress. So that is why security is worth more than silver and gold. Let it get into your heads. Security first. If you're rich and you don't have security, man, you're just like you're just like, like a chicken, a fowl. You can be crushed any moment. Hoodlums can get you and you know, use you to do pepper soup. Who is going to save you? Even if you are rich in Nigeria, you fly on helicopters or private jet, whatever. You won't be, I mean, for you to go uh, to your village, to go inside your father's compound, do you need a helicopter to take you there? You need road. Okay, because you need road, you equally need security. 
Because if that road is not secured, if that road is not secured, you know what is going to be your fate. So that is why we are, that is what we are saying. Security is very, very important. Nigerian people stop being foolish about, you know, this, this craze about money, 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 money. Everybody is busy looking for money, only money. And after looking for the money, you are not secured. You don't even have good hospitals. Who are you looking for money for? Who is going to eat that money that you're killing yourself to make? The basic things of life, please, these, these Janjaweed gov governors in Biafra land, we need them. We need them. Eh? Is it a, 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 a rocket science for you, for you to start, you know, building the roads, constructing the roads, at least taking it bit by bit? You must make sure that every year, every year you achieve one thing. This is now December. The, 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 the year is ending. Can you, can you people in your government, in your powers, can you account for what you have achieved for your people? Nothing. It's all about corruption. It's all about fraud. You all go in there to enjoy. That's all. You go in there to do rubbish. And when it is election time, you fight again to come back. You fight again to come back. And when you come back, after your tenure again, you put your friend or your brother or your relation or somebody who is your paddy paddy man. It is not right. The world, the life has evolved. The world has changed has changed a lot. You all, you all run, you all running to come to Europe. Everybody wants to come to Europe. Everybody wants to come to Europe. But it is somebody that made Europe what it is today. Somebody made Europe what it is today. If there are full and health men in Europe, who will come to Europe? As it is now, I cannot even go to, to, uh, to, to, to the northern part of Nigeria. Because I am afraid of uh, what, what the kidnappers, the Boko Haram and the, the whole terrorist uh, groups. Because I am afraid of what they do there. But, if you, but you know that if it, it is a very safe place, everybody can go there. Everybody wants to come to Europe because there is no terrorism in Europe, I can assure you. If they find out any terrorist movement, they will just crush it in under a twinkle of an eye. But Nigerian government is just harboring terrorists, harboring them, protecting them. They are even doing business with them. Now for, for, for schoolboys to be kidnapped is now a business in Nigeria. Everything is all about money. You kidnap children. Under two days, you release them. Who are you talking to? Who are you telling? But anyway, that is their own cup of tea. That is their own business. We are saying that such things should not get down to our place. Such things should not get down to our place. We don't want it at all, at all. We want the East to remain as as peaceful as it, as it has always been as quiet as it has always been we are not terrorists we don't kill anybody we don't live in the bushes we are proud people we are human beings these people are not human beings and that is why we want to separate from them 
That is why we want to go away from Nigeria. That is why we want to be on our own. That is why we want independence. That is why we are clamoring for the restoration of Biafra. I don't know whether you people are getting it. Biafra, Biafra is a country. It's not a new thing. It's not that Namdekano just started Biafra 2015 or 2012. No. Ojuku fought for Biafra. I have said before that the quest for Biafra can never, never stop unless Biafra comes. So all these confusions, all these problems that we are having in that region can never, never stop unless Biafra is given its freedom. We are not the same thing with these people. How can a white person come and form a country for me and you and it's not even working? Instead of them, instead of the Janjaweed government to come and apologize for what they did to us during the Civil War, they continue killing our people through various means, through various methods. And you say, we should keep quiet. Now that ESN has come to stay, we have to support it, please. Like I was saying before, I don't want to deviate so much. They need your support, please. They need your support. Clothings, like uh, boots or whatever, anything, even helmets. If you even have armories, please, anything at all. Let's show these people that we are their friends. We want to secure ourselves. You don't need to come and kill us like chicken. When are we going to act? If we don't act now. When they must have killed all of us. When they must have killed our youths. Everybody can testify to what Wike did in Obibo. So please, let us give support to the ESN so that we can have security in Biafra land. If there is security today, I mean, we can be much more proud of Biafra. If you are in abroad, you can say, you can live abroad and say, I'm going home. I'm tired of being in abroad. And believe you me, I know that most of us are not happy being in abroad. We are still here managing because we don't have a place to go. Where are you going to? Is it not a shameful thing that a man of 50 years who has spent about 20 or even 30 years is still in abroad? Is it not a shameful thing? It is not bad for one to migrate. It is not bad for one to, you know, change. It is not bad for one to come to abroad. But what is bad is when you come after so many years, you cannot go back to your place again. That is very, very bad. It is shameful. Most of us are still outside because of insecurity. Because of insecurity. When you remind somebody that he has to go back after, you know, after so many years of staying abroad, he will still tell you that he is not sure. And truly, he is not sure of going back. For how long is he going to continue? For how long is he going to be like this? But if we have security, if you, if you know that your life is, you know, secured, nothing will happen to you, you can even go. 
even without money. Money is not everything. An Italian who has spent so many years in America can come back to Italy any day he wants. Even most of them say they, they don't even they don't even want to want to want to want to go to abroad and stay. They will tell you that this is their village, that they love it here. That is the same way we want it. We want to stay in our places, in our villages. If we want to come to abroad, it will not be as a result of necessity anymore. But as a result of a wish or choice. But you see that most of us coming to abroad, we are doing it because we don't have any choice anymore than to leave our place. And when you leave your place to come to abroad, you don't know when the journey is going to end. It's a very, very pathetic situation. So that is why we are saying that this security outfit must let be. Nobody should tamper with it. We have to support the ESN we have to support give it support that is what we are saying because the dangers in our not having security in Biafra land is just too numerous it's too much you can't name it We have our families here, most of us, we have our families here in abroad. Our children and our families, wives and so on. But, do you tell me that a child that is raised up in Europe can go to an environment like that? A, 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 an environment where, 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 where he can go and maybe... A, a, you see, he wouldn't even know what will happen to his life. What if, what if our children have a place in Biafra land where they can go back? Go back, maybe after studying here in abroad. They take all that they have learned and go home to impact on our people. You see that some of us now, even the adults, even my generation self, we are afraid to go. It's not necessarily a question of having money or not having money. But the number one issue that is deterring us is security. It's security. So we want a place whereby we can be proud to say, oh, I'm tired of staying in abroad. I want to go home. Our children can go home. Our children can come home. Some of them now are not becoming, you know, important people abroad. Doctors, lawyers, whatever, engineers. But they cannot go home. So do you want them to continue the way that we, we, we have, what we have done before? So that is why this security Outfit is very, very important to us. At least, let us start from here. Let us start from here. By supporting this Eastern Security Network. So, that is what I'm saying, my brothers and sisters. The Eastern governors, you must all support. You must, is a must is a must that you must support the Eastern Security Network for the safety of our land. So, that is what we are saying here. That is what I'm saying. Today is Christmas Day, but uh, I just, you know, feel that uh, it is necessary that we use this opportunity that the uh, celebration, the holiday has, you know, provided for all of us to still emphasize on the need for this security to be stronger and stronger. We have to. 
We really have to. We need it. We need it. If not, what these people are, have in mind for us, only God knows. So, support the ESN financially, support materially, support anyhow. Broadcast it, discuss it with people, let them understand. And the ESN is not all about Igbo or Edo or Yorubo or the so called Niger Delta. No, it is for all of us. We need to have peace. We're all in abroad today because they have peace and security. If they don't have peace and security, we wouldn't be here. And you see that where there is peace and security, I mean, that is, that is the number one step. That, that is the thing that brings uh, 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 this, uh, you know, wealth. It brings wealth. We wouldn't want to have a place whereby you set up your business today and tomorrow another riffraff will just come out from nowhere and de you know destroy all that you have toyed for all your life. That is what we are saying. Anybody that knows Fulani should go and tell them to get away from Biafra land. To get away from our bushes. If not, whatever thing that they see, they have to receive it. They have to take it like that. We are warning them. And I don't think they are still around. If they are still around or they are still trying to or maybe come back, you know, normally. Because when you drive them, they will come back again. They will go and regroup and come back again. I think they should stop joking. Because they are playing with their lives. The ESN is there to protect Biafra land. The protection of Biafra land. Biafra must be, must be, must be, must be free from attacks, from these marauders, from the Futagelon. That is what we are saying. I heard about one man that was saying that uh, uh, even if, even if they kill two women, or they rape two women in our land, that it is nothing. I don't want to respond to him, but all I want to tell him is that they all claim to be elders. I don't know the kind of elder this person is, or leader. He is, he is, he is even claiming to be a leader. Let them know that even elders even, even foolish people grow old. Yes, old men. They are old. And as such, because of their age, they claim to be elders. Me too, I am an elder. I am an elder. So, I really know when to, when to be stupid and when not to be. Because that statement is a statement, a foolish and stupid statement. How can you say that in Biafra land, even if they rape two or three women, that it doesn't mean that uh, they are raping anybody, that you don't need uh, the security outfit that was unveiled by Mazin Namdekano. How can somebody with his right senses make such, such a statement? And this is somebody who is claiming that he is fighting for Biafra. Are you serious? I can't really believe it. So that man should really bring out his, his mother and wife for Fulani to be raped. Let's see how he's going to feel. In Biafra land, no woman should be harassed. No woman should be, should be touched. Talk less of even raping. No woman, nobody. We are civilized. We are not animals. Everybody should have respect. Everybody should have respect and give respect. That is what Biafra is all about. That is what Biafra is going to be. You should have respect and you should give respect. You should take respect. You should demand for respect for everybody, no matter who you are, young and old. 
You don't come and tell me that even if two or three women are raped. That it doesn't mean that nobody, yeah, that it doesn't mean that rape is going on in Biafra land. What a pathetic way of expressing yourself. These people harassing somebody, they say that they are elders. Me too, I am an elder. Once a man is above 50, he's an elder. He has grown. Like I said before, there are still some, some foolish people who grow old. This man, yes, he's old, but he's foolish. He's a foolish elder. If he's listening to me, let him listen carefully. Let him listen very well. How can you say that? I listened to that. I, I listened to that video and uh, I was I was honest. I, I was like, oh my God, can this man be saying such a thing? And tomorrow this man this man will come out and, and tell us that he is fighting for, 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 for Biafra. Which which kind of Biafra are you fighting for, Mr. Man? And that is why you go and mingle with a, with a, with a, uh, Yerima or what, Shetima, what do they call it? All this northern Fulani elites. So these are what, what you people discuss. You tell them that even if you, you come to Biafra land and rape two women or kill three women, that it doesn't mean that there is rape. There, it doesn't mean that there is killing. We don't want it. You don't have to touch our women. You don't have to touch anybody. We don't want kidnappers. We don't, we don't want armed robbery. It's possible, yes. It's possible. Because you people have learned to, to you, know, you know, living with evil is part of your life. You blood suckers. We don't want it at all in Biafra land. So my man, Raping one person or even killing one person is a serious business in Biafra land. You don't have to rape anybody. You don't have that right. Nobody has the right to rape any woman. Children can no longer go to schools. They can't come out again. So that is what we are saying. That is what we are saying. So we have to, we have to support this security network, honestly. It is a Christmas gift, a Christmas gift from Mazin Namdekanu, honestly. Those people that are jealous in this guy, they should all go and hang electric transformers or whatever. They should all go and die. This is the man that is fighting for everybody with all his heart. This is the right person that is, and that is why we are following him. You people that are now making noises, where were you before? Before he started this movement. Where were you? Where were you? What had anybody done in the past? Before this man, before this guy, what had anybody done to save our people? We were all okay with the Nigerian system before him. The highest we could do was only to lament. Lament, lamentation and crying and that's all. But now this is time for action. This is time for action. We are now acting. And this guy has given us the power. He has given us the boldness to react. We must react. If you don't react, your enemies will crush you. We must react. When they push us once, we push them ten times. If they push us once, we push them ten times. These governors support us. Forget about your useless Nigerian politics. Support us in what we are doing. Our place must be secured. 
who is telling me that there is there is no uh, 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 security threat in our land there is there is where people cannot go to farm anymore women and children who cannot go to our farms and come back and come back alive you're telling me that there is no there, there is do you, do you know how many people that were killed in Ebony and all other places, even in Abia State, Biafra land? They were killing people and nothing was happening to them. And somebody is saying that uh, there is no security issue. That if they, if they kill or rape uh, about two or three women, that uh, it's normal, it's everywhere in the world. It is, not, it is not like that everywhere in the world. You don't rape anybody, you don't have the right. You don't have the right. You don't have the right to abuse anybody. And these are people who are carrying ammunition around, carrying AK-47, and nothing is happening to them. So, my people, as you celebrate the Christmas, God will bless all of you. God will bless all Biafrans all over the world. So, support, support, support the Eastern Security Network. They need your support. They need your support because they have families. They have children to send to school. So, that is what we are saying. They must be fed every day, well fed. We need to keep them very clean. They must be clean. They are not going to be like a Nigerian security apparatus. When you see Nigerian policemen, I mean, you, you, you shake. They are not going to be like all these uh, Nigerian police that drink Kai Kai every day. And after that, they will release their, 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 their bullets on innocent civilians. No. In Europe here, if you, if, you, if, if you see a policeman, I'm not even talking of the armies, the soldiers, just a common policeman. A policeman here talking to you. A policeman, a policeman is like a president that is talking to you. He doesn't even have any business to do with you. All he has to do with you is to do his work on you. If you are driving they want to stop you, they can stop you gently. And when they stop you, they just ask you for particulars of your vehicle. And that's all. You remain in your car. You won't even, you won't even, you won't even, you won't even come out of your car. You remain in your car. They will do their, they will do their work. And you see them on night perfume, policeman. You see them. You see their handsomeness, very clean. Police person. When you see them, you say, ah, why is it that I wasn't a, a, a policeman or a force man, so to say? Well scented, well perfumed. They put on suits like this. Policeman. They have they they have they have a, they have, a, they have a, a, a pistol on them, but they can never never release it. Never. Let me tell you here. If you are so crazy, if you are so mad, you can even slap a policeman here, and he's not going to retaliate. All they will do is just to try to handcuff you if you are so violent. No shooting gun. No shooting anybody. You don't shoot anybody. Are you people crazy? Who are you shooting? Shooting human beings for what? Killing immediately. At the slightest provocation, the police in Nigeria will kill. And at the end of the day, they go scot freely. Nothing happens to them. Police here don't shoot anybody. If you if they if they find out, if they read psychologically and find out that you have something in your head that may be your disturbance type or you're not okay, they try to handcuff you. They handcuff you and, you know, 
put you inside their vehicle and take you to the station for every other thing that they have to do, verifications and who are you, who is this person and so on and so forth. And it rarely happens. It doesn't happen every time. But look at Nigerian person. I mean, for, for, for Nigeria, a police will tell you that I will shoot you, I will kill you, and nothing will happen. The government, the government will hear this statement. All these things are recorded. All these things are on video even now that there is technology. The government will hear all these things and they, they will still allow this, peop, this person to continue with, with the job. Somebody will say, I will kill you and nothing will happen. Where on earth does it happen, this kind of a thing? Where on earth is it acceptable? A policeman, a false person, somebody that is serving the public, somebody that is protecting. Instead of protecting people, they are killing. And they even threaten you. They even say it with their mouth, verbally. And nothing happens, really. So why wouldn't they continue to kill since they know that if they kill, if they kill, nothing happens. You can only go home and cry. You can go and cry, and that is it. Nothing happens. So we want security. Security is very, very important to us. Biafra is going to be more civilized because this Nigerian setup is pushing us backwards. We are not progressing with Nigeria. The whole world has left us behind. The whole world has left us behind. We should be one of the leading people in the world today. But because of Nigeria, we are left behind. Because Nigeria doesn't want to meet up. Because of the system. Because of the corruption. Because of the bad leaders. So that is what we are saying. That is what we are saying. So, may God bless all of you. Share this uh, little thought of mine. Share it to your friends. God bless all of you in this Christmas. And uh, into the new year. We we'll pray that 2021 is going to be better for all of us. And we we'll pray that... Um, Biafra comes as soon as as soon as and as quickly as possible. What we need is Biafra. For some of you who are still hoping that Nigeria is going to get better, you are just dreaming. I am so sorry for you. As far as Nigeria is concerned, nothing is happening. You are where you are. If Nigeria continues, you are not going to get electricity. You are not going to get electricity. I will make call to Nigeria and they will tell me that there is no light. Every day, no light. No light. And I wonder, how are human beings, how can human beings be living this way? So if you want to, if you want to live your life as a human being created by God, make sure that you support that Biafra comes. If you want to have, you know, good roads, Make sure that you support the quest for Biafra restoration, that Biafra comes. In Biafra, we are going to fix all these things. We are going to. There's not going to be corruption in Biafra land. Anybody that is corrupt in Biafra will kill the person, honestly. In Ukraine, in Ukraine, in Ukraine, in Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine Europe here. A parliamentarian was, was thrown into those beans because he was found guilty of corruption. That is what you should be doing in Nigeria. Show them example. Because nothing is happening to them. These so-called corrupt leaders. Carry them and put them inside those beans. In Ukraine, white people, they did it. 
and, 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 and they were all supported because of corruption. How do you steal the money that belongs to everybody? Only your family is okay. Mm -hmm. And others are languishing in poverty, abject poverty. Abject poverty. Stupid, useless politicians. How can a senator be earning? How can a senator in Nigeria, third world country, how can a senator be earning 30 million naira a month? Do you know what is 30 million naira a month? How can? And you tell me that these people have heart. You see the kind of constitution they make. That the fraudulent 1999 constitution. That you cannot even question them. You can't ask questions. You can't go against whatever whatever decision they, that they have taken. So it is time we started dealing with these people. And that is why we say that Nigeria can never get any better. The only solution is for Biafra to come. Let Biafra come and we start afresh. And we are good to go. We are ready to go. We want to go. That's all. Let Biafra come and let me see who is going to bring in this useless corruption. In Biafra land, everybody must be equal. We have to work with meritocracy. Whatever you merit is what you're going to get. Not getting what you never merited for. Look at graduates. After graduating from schools, no job to do. You see an accountant uh, uh, working in a legal firm. What has an, an accountant got to do with the laws of the land? Hmm? You see a lawyer setting up a hospital. You know, he will not deviate from his major, from his main profession, and start doing another thing. That is why they keep people anyhow. Because when somebody is, you know, practicing what he never, what he never studied, what he never learned, that is the consequence. That is the result. That is what you get from 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 that. You know, all forms of corruption. There is no corruption, no kind of corruption, evil things that you cannot find in Nigeria. So in Biafra land, a doctor must be qualified to be a doctor. You must go to a school of medicine. If you want to be a lawyer, you must go to law school. Look at the chief uh, justice of the federation is a Sharia, Sharia, Sharia student or Sharia law student. How can somebody who studied only Sharia, how can he know about the secular nature of Nigeria? Because they say that Nigeria is practicing a secular setup kind of a, a government or society that anything about Nigeria should be secular and even democratic. How can a Sharia person be your chief justice? Look at even the Attorney General, the Attorney General of the Federation, people who are not qualified. This is, you know, this is what you reap from corruption. So, the problems of that country is just too, too numerous that uh, we, we, we cannot, we cannot, uh, we, we, we can't highlight all of them, explain all of them, analyze all of them. In, in in even 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 in even one year so that is why we say we want our own country self determination that is what we are saying here we want biafra and biafra we must get you cannot 
tell me that a white man will join will join will join me together with another person i never knew anything of what is the difference between uh, this uh, this uh, northern people and the afghanistan people kandahar what is the difference and that is why they bring their people from mali gambia and chad niger republic they join together you don't know who is who because the because of the agenda they have against us it is very simple we must separate let them go their way i have said it before that we can we can have international relations we can assist each other we can partner together we can cooperate with each other but for us to be one country that is practically impossible everybody can see it that is why there is killings going on. Because if, if we are one people, these people will not be killing us. Just because we are not the same, they don't care. They want to wipe us out. So let us separate and go our ways. Everybody should join hands, should support the coming of Biafra. That is where we'll get our normal lives back. Nigeria has done more harm than good to all of us. More harm than good. You see people in Nigeria, you, you begin to shed tears. People with brain, people with talents, people with different destinies. But all their destiny is shattered just because they are Nigerians. So we should put a stop to it. Everybody is suffering it. You more, espe more especially people who are there. People who are abroad are not even better because everybody wants to come home. But you cannot come. That is the frank truth. Not that anybody is, is saying that you should not come but how will you leave a comfort zone to come into hellfire? Nigeria is hellfire. Look at the situation of the economy now. Look at hunger in the land. People are hungry now. If you don't take time, time will, time will come and they will start eating you know, one another. So we want to avoid all these things. That is why we are calling for separation. The world bodies, everybody, United Nations, everybody should come and divide us, separate us from Nigeria before it gets into another thing. We are not the one calling for war. We don't want war. But when they push us, are we going to be looking at them like that? to do with us whatever they, they wish? No. The answer is no. So, I want to thank you people again for the people who have listened a little bit to me. Today is a Christmas day. I want you to continue, you know, enjoying your Christmas. Now, Well, this is Mobier. This is dedicated to the gallant heroes of the Nigerian Biafra War and IPO families all over the world. I remember the Nigerian Biafra War mm, in the thickness of the Biafra genocide. Hey, one man revived the vanishing hope to life. Ah, let the great be
up from mommy to fight And they were singing out Holy, 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 all I Ibo, 
Kesi ibebunu nyawi ibebuna abuja moka yelu teziga yaka aliyebuam 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 Biafra the land of the rising sun Onye sino gaga dindu kwa ndibu alili gerishi yao Onye sino gaga dindu kwa Biafra ili gerishi yao Anye bumu chupo kikabia ma Ia ichoro buwero wanyo Anye jeke madobo la ubo Onye biri kibe ya bibi Make bebere ugo bere nu Obu kwa fono gu kanyu jaga Kanyu bwa wambo anya dalamba Anyu jisike anyu wendeli Enye ye kubike Enye ye kubike I will roll for the obike I got to the financial obike Chupo kike kere li gwe no wa Nabia nunu rolu mo Anye wegi chupo so ewe suga gi chiku zundiaga Anye bugi anya kotoki Iya itoro buwero wanyi Nakandi wero biyocho Nakandi ama noko chicho Oso kwa aka ye bure wena ma Owe ki ya ge mumu chuku Obu zima dole kunu ge bunu Iya ima bo jofo gala Onye sino gaga dindu kwa ndibu Halili gerishi yao Onye sino gaga dindu kwa biafra Ili gerishi yao Anye bumu chupo kika biama Iya ichoro buwe roma Anye jeke madobo la uko Onye kiri kibe ya bibi Make bebere ugo bere mu Obu kwa fono gu kanyi jaga Kanyi bwa wambo anya dalanga Anye jisike anyi wendeli Penye ye kubike Penye ye Biafra, the land of the rising sun. Onye sino gaga dindu kwa ndibu, alili gerishi yao. Onye sino gaga dindu kwa Biafra, ili gerishi yao. Anye bumu chupo kika biyama, iya ichoro buwe rowani. Anye jeke madobo la ubo, onye biri kibe ya bibi. Make bebere ugo bere nu Obu kwa fono gu kanyu jaga Kanyu bwa wambo anya dalamba Anyu jisike anyu wendeli Enye ye kubike Enye ye kubike I will roll for the obike I got to the financial obike Chupo kike kere li gwe no wa Nabia nunu rolu mo Anye wegi chupo so ewe suga gi chiku zundiaga Anye bugi anya kotoki